everybody. It's your favorite Auntie Mo. We are back for another episode review of Love After Lockup. This is season two, episode 25, Felon Fantasy. Before we get into the review, if you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think of this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down and hit the notification button so you will know whenever I upload new content. Another thing I want to let you guys know, I want to show you guys the shirt I'm wearing today. This shirt is by Purposefully Crafty. This is a classmate of mine who created this shirt. Her name is Jamila Dawson. And guys, not to put the girls all up in the camera, but I just want you guys to see the detailing in the shirt. This shirt is so cute. I have this in, uh, it's either extra large or 1X. I can't remember. I want to say it's a 1X. But this shirt is, guys, look at the detailing on this shirt. It glimmers. It gleams. It's so super cute. Um, you will be seeing me in more of these shirts. Shout out to you, Jamila. I will put her information up. You can order this shirt from her. Um, if you're in the Austin area, you can actually meet her up probably. You know, she, I'm sure she can ship them to you whatnot but i love this shirt if you like this shirt you want to get more shirts like this hit her up purposefully crafty i'm telling y'all y'all are gonna see me in more of these shirts i wore the shirt to the store before i could even get the store good no lie i got two compliments on it because this shirt is so so super cute y'all look at this one more time Homegirl is popping look at all this black girl magic brown skin girlness on this shirt y'all I love, love, love this shirt. Hit her up. Again, that is my classmate. Um, if anybody has any merchandise that you would like for me to advertise, let me know. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind, especially if you're in the Austin area. And I am not um, greedy or nothing like that. I will pay for my merchandise. You know what I'm saying? Um, I do expect a discount later on down the road if your shit start popping because of Auntie Mo or whatever. But, <laughs> no real talk. I am always available to help out my people in any kind of way I can. So again, shout out to Purposefully Crafty, Jamila Dawson. I hope you guys like this shirt. If you want this and more shirts like this, I will leave her information out in my description box below. I hope you guys are ready for the review. I'm ready to give it to you, so let's get right on up into it. All right, y'all, let's get the boring people out of the way first. Cheryl and Josh. Now, she's with her mom. They're on their way to go dress shopping or whatever, right? Because, you know, she's in love with Josh, and she's going to marry Josh. Now, she says that Josh picked out the engagement ring. She sent him pictures of three different rings. He picked out the ring. She went and bought the ring, okay? He didn't pay for nothing. That she love him, she gonna marry him. Mama don't like this motherfucker. Mama like, look here, I don't know nothing about him. You just telling me yesterday that all of a sudden you gonna marry him and I'm supposed to be on a bandwagon with you, taking you to go look for dresses and all this. No, nah, I'm not feeling this dude. This motherfucker out here robbing banks. And you okay with that? And you finna bring this around your, your kids and all? Like, no, I'm not with that. Y'all, so they get to the dress shop or whatever, right? Mama ain't feeling nothing. Every dress she show on, I mean, she tries on, mama like, mm, I don't like the color. I don't like the straps. I don't like you in it. Like everything she's saying, she's just putting it down. The store clerk was very uncomfortable. So she trying to bring some, you know, break it up a little bit. She's like, okay, so how long have you and your fiance been engaged? And she's like, oh, well, we've been engaged a little bit over a year. I would say over a year? I'm just not finding out about him yesterday. Like, what is she talking about? She was like, I didn't tell you, mama, because of this right here. I love him, mama. I'm going to marry him regardless of what you think. So regardless of what you feel, mama, I didn't want to let you know. So I didn't let you know, but I'm letting you know now. Mama is heartbroken. She like, look here. You already got a bad, you know, past with men as it is. And now you finna bring somebody else totally in that's totally fresh up out of prison for robbing banks up in the house around the babies? Like, are you okay with that? But like she said, that's neither here nor there. She love him. She finna go get him. Y'all, so she's on her way. She finna go pick up Josh from Colorado. Now, at first, you remember daddy was like, oh, hell no, I'm not finna watch these kids. She was like, uh, yes, you are. And that's what daddy ended up doing. Daddy like, look here, regardless, I'm gonna support her, but I'm not gonna support him. And if supporting her means I gotta watch the kids, that's what I'm gonna do, because I'm not gonna leave my babies high and dry, because they're my grandbabies. But I don't support a damn thing when it comes to this dude. She don't care. She don't care. All she can think about is him. This half can't... She can barely even kiss her kids because she's trying to hurry up and get out the door to go pick this fool up from prison. So she said he been on lockdown. I don't know for how long he been on lockdown. So she ain't been able to talk to him. So they ain't got no kind of plan when he get out. He can't parole back to where she is just yet. I think he got to stay in the halfway house somewhere. So 
Y'all, she hoping for a happy ending. I'm hoping for a happy ending for her. Because we don't know nothing about this dude. All we know is that he robbed a bank. That's it. We ain't been able to talk to him like we've been able to talk to the other prisoners and get like a kind of catch up, like kind of get your side of the story. Like what's going on? We ain't got his side of the story. So I don't know if I try. I'm kind of with daddy and mama. Like I don't, y'all, I don't, I don't know this dude. And you just finna let him in here around the babies like it. I mean, you know, girl, you like it. I love it. Now, mind you, he was supposed to get 12 years for bank robbery. Bank robbery, excuse me. He only served six years. I don't know if that's a good thing or what. But um, she's hoping for a happily ever after. We hoping for a happily ever after too. I want to see this dude. I, I what what is his story? What's your business? Next up, y'all, we meet a new couple. We have 22-year-old Lizzie. She has been talking with 21-year-old Daniel. He's been locked up possession of meth. Now they met. Um, he was working at a drive-thru. She came through the drive-thru. They was kicking it for a little while. A week later, they at her house. Now, um, they were both on meth at the time. House got raided. He got locked up. It's three years later. He get ready to get out of prison. Now, according to Lizzie, she's a full-time student. She lives at home with her parents. She's a cashier, and she's a former pill popper and a meth head. Not my words, all hers. Now, the family... Her family don't like him. Her mama don't like, no, his mama don't like her. His mama believes that basically Lizzie is the reason that he got locked up in the first place. Like, okay, he was on that shit too. She just wasn't on that stuff alone. He was on that stuff with her. Yeah, true enough, he was at her house. They had just met. A week into them meeting, he get locked up. It's been three years later. I mean, hey, they was both in the wrong for that. Ain't, ain't, ain't nobody sin greater than the other. Another reason why Daniel's mama really don't like Lizzie because she only got off with a slap on the wrist. I'm guessing it was her first time offense or something, so they just let her off or whatnot. But he ended up actually doing almost four years, three and a half, almost four years. So Daniel's mama say when he get out of prison, she's going to control his life because all the way up until then, he been trying to control his life and he been messing things up. So mama say she finna come in, she finna control everything, she finna get a baby on track, right? So she at the house chilling with her sister at her parents' house where she live at. Her sister over there, they talking. Her sister don't like Daniel. She like, look here. <sighs> Girl, what you wanna be with him for? <laughs> Why? Help me to help help me help you understand like what the hell is going on. She love him. That's all she can think about is him. He calls her while she's over there talking with her sister. She tells him that her and her sister just got into it a little bit, which they kind of did because they was talking about him. But her sister's like, why you want to be with him if, you know, he ain't got nothing to offer you? She said, regardless of what, I love him. I'm going to be with him. Yeah, it's, they situation kind of started off boring, but I'm interested to see what happened because you can already tell. Like I said, his mama don't like her, but she is going with his mother to pick him up from prison. So we gonna see how all of that go because if it is anything like the way she's explaining it, mama gonna try to control everything because she the mama. She gonna try to control everything because she the girlfriend. So they just gonna end up clash of the titans. Y'all, we gonna see what's gonna happen with that. Y'all moving on from there. So y'all, Angela and Tony, she's outside waiting on Tony. She done got there to the bus station because he's supposed to be released. Now, he was supposed to have been released eight months prior but he didn't end up getting out. Now, I don't know if he lied to her about getting out, if something happened and he didn't get out. I don't know exactly what happened. But she is nervous as hell that he ain't gonna show up. Because she says that the first time she sent pictures to him, all her shit was Photoshop. Her and her sister got together and basically out here catfishing. Holla at my other videos. Check out my catfish reviews if you haven't already. But her and her sister basically kind of catfished him because they photoshopped her pictures. And so she's afraid that when he gets out, he gonna ghost her ass or whatever. So she out there waiting on him, y'all. Four hours later, he finally shows up. They embrace. They give each other the nastiest, sloppiest kiss. Ooh, this is girl. She done hooked this fool up with clothes, shoes, fitted caps. Muscle shirts, white beaters, undershirts, white tees, all of that. She got all kind of clothes for him. So he in the car change or whatever. She trying to fill him. She ready to go goose. She's nasty. Oh, nasty. Something. She, oh, she's so nasty. So she ready to go get it in. She asked him, so what she want first? Um, You want steak or you want a blowjob? He said, shit, steak? I mean, shit. 
Y'all up next, we got Vincent and Amber. So y'all know, uh, Amber's first shot of prison. She was locked up four years for drug trafficking meth. Her and Vincent are on the way to Puppy's mama's house, which is her prison wife. They're on their way to her mama house because that's where she's paroled out to. So on the way over there to the house, Puppy ends up calling on the phone. And Puppy and Amber are steady. I love you. I love you. Back and forth to each other. This is sitting in the driver's seat looking nervous as hell. Every time they say something about my wife, that's my bitch. I love you. Yeah, yeah. He look nervous as hell. He look like he's sweating bullets. He like he don't know what the hell to do. Now she said she did tell Vince. Fresh up out of jail, we ain't finna be hopping and sacking goose and smacking up the rub down and all that. You know what I'm saying? Cause once again, my buffet was a lot different for these last couple years. So you can't just expect me to just change it up like that. You know what I'm saying? That's what she's telling him. So he understands or whatever. So they get over there at the puppy mama house. We just gonna go ahead and say her in-law's house. Her mother-in-law's house. That's what she she gets to her mother-in-law's house. And mama-in-law just as petty. This to say, um, so do you know her and puppy call each other wife? <laughs> she said, yep. <laughs> do you know she gay? I said, wow. <laughs> Now, puppy mama says she got a set of rules. One of them set of rules is men can't stay there. So, when she told uh, Vincent, uh, I'm sorry, but you can't stay tonight, Amber looked very happy about that. She looked over there at him and said, oh, well, rules is rules. Sorry, shit out of luck. Girl, she didn't want him to stay no goddamn way because she wasn't ready for all of that. Y'all, her and Vincent are total opposites. I'm sorry, but their relationship is not going to last, especially once puppy get out. Because, baby, once puppy get out, she ain't going to want nothing to do with Vincent. Vincent, you was convenient for her while she was locked up. As of right now, she ain't really got a whole... You know what I'm saying? I know you love her, whatever, but she's not really feeling you like that. I'm sorry. Their relationship not going to last. Um, but, yeah, they over there at her in-law house, her mother-in-law house. They over there chilling, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that shit going to be crazy. I'm ready for puppy to get out of prison so I can see what happens because this is going to be SOL. Shit out of luck. Y'all, next up, we got Andrea and Lamondre, a.k.a. Day. She on her way to her photo shoot for her eyeglass wear, right? So, um, her sister Erica's in the car with her. Her sister Erica's like her manager. Erica's asking her, like, look, are you really serious about Goldie? Like, you really want to be with Goldie? Like, you love him? And she's like, look here, I know y'all see the mean side of him. Y'all see everything on TV, him being the black scar face of Florida, this, that, and the other. Like, what? She like, I know y'all see all of this about him, but I see the soft side of him. He's a good guy with me. He loves me. And when I see him, I see stability and I see solidness. Yeah, because he taking care of you. He tricking, girl. He tricking from prison. You ain't even got to get, girl. Let me stop. Anyways, um, she does say Goldie told her he don't want her doing no more photo shoots, especially no photo shoots where she half naked. I'm guessing she must have told him that that's what an idea, whatever that she had. He told her, oh, hell no, don't you do it. Baby, they get to the photo shoot. Goldie called, what you doing? Well, I really don't want to hide no secrets from you, but I'm going to let you know that uh, I'm doing this photo shoot with the body paint. Baby, he starts tripping. He say, you disloyal, you going against the grain. I done cut off all these other hoes for you. I done, I could have had plenty of bitches. Like, he, it, I, wait a minute. It got real left, like, real quick. She like, dog, you is crazy. What is you talking about? Y'all, this fool starts yelling, going off. She hangs up the phone on him. He calls back to back to back. She says that times that they have gotten into it, this fool has called and called back to back until her battery has died. Now, what kind of pool you got in prison to where you got connects on the phone like that? You can just keep calling back to back to back to back. Like, you know, I don't need to know that. That ain't none of my business. I don't want to know what kind of connection you got. That ain't none of my business. But he continues to call over and over and over again. Finally, she answers the phone. This fool gonna tell her if you do them pictures, you gonna have a nightmare. Bitch, what? Who was you, Freddy? What? She tells him, look here, dog, you crazy as hell. How you gonna tell me I'm gonna have a nightmare if I do some photos to promote my sunglass, my business, because you crazy? He tells her, bitch, do you want me to get hood with you? It's Andrea, Goldie is crazy. No. Danger, danger. Back away from the Negro. He's crazy as hell. I'm a girl. Uh-uh. He the type of nigga, he ain't gonna tell you when he out of jail. He gonna show up at your front doorstep. Ready. 
for anything and whatever. Don't do it. He crazy. He crazy as hell. Moving on. Finally, y'all, we have Lacey, John, and Shane. Now, Lacey is on her way to go pick up her side dude, Shane. You know she done lied to her mom and daddy, telling her mom and daddy that she got a modeling gig that she on her way to just so they can watch the kids, y'all. She shady as hell for that. She finna drive seven hours to go pick up her side dude. She's driving in all inclements of weather. Sleet, snowstorm, tornado, tsunami. I mean, it's pissing down outside. And this girl driving seven hours to pick up her side dude. Meanwhile, the fiance calling back to back to back to back to back. This half ain't even answering the phone. Side dude Shane called one time. Pretty hello. She pick up that phone, talk to him. She's excited to come and see him, excited to come pick him up. Yada yada yada. So finally, she answers when John calls. And she being real shady on the phone with John. John ain't stupid, though. He can tell something's up. He like, what's up? What's going on? Like, I'm trying to call you and answer the phone. What's the business? What's good? What's popping? She's like, oh, well, I'm on my way um, out of town. Um, my mom and dad are watching the kids. And he like, oh, yeah? They been watching the kids a lot lately. You been going out of town a lot. And she like, yeah, well, work, work, work. He like, yeah? All right, what you going to do out of town? Well, you know, I'm just gonna do this. Just being real shady on the phone with him. He ain't stupid. He knows something is up. Now, mind you, she's only been talking with Shane for the last four months. John is getting ready to get out of jail in a couple weeks. So, like she and he's paroled to her house. So, like she said, she only got a couple weeks to figure out what she's trying to do with old boy, her side dude, before her main dude, her fiance, get out of prison and come home. Y'all. That's a hot ass mess. She got way too much going on, way too much she trying to juggle, and now she says she feel like she's in over her head. So she's outside waiting. She done arrived to the prison, y'all. She waiting. It's cold, it's raining. She out there in her best little shit with her umbrella, ready for her side dude to come. Finally, y'all, they releasing him. He come walking down the sideway in the goddamn episode and from there. We TV, I'm tired of y'all playing with my emotions the way that y'all do. I'm sick of it. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. If any of y'all watch this episode and y'all um drop down in the comments, let me know what y'all thought about this episode, y'all. Some of it was kind of boring, but I am interested to see what's going to happen with this whole throuple of Lacey, John, and Shane, and then Andrea and Goldie. Baby, you don't have to let Goldie go. He crazy out here in these streets, y'all. He is crazy as hell. One more time, I want to remind you guys about Purposefully Crafty and this bomb black girl magic shirt right here. If you're interested in it, I will leave her info in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.